What does this do, by the way? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you got like an exp- oh. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Today is a brand new episode of the Top 5 Worst Minecraft Pocket Edition Ripoffs and this is the iOS Edition Part 2. You fully enjoyed the first part, we're back again with 5 new apps and this video is a little bit different because usually in this series you will suggest a couple of apps, I will download them, I will play them and then I will record a video for all of you. However today, I've not even opened these apps once. So it's gonna be a surprise for me and a surprise for you. If you know any apps that are on iOS or Android or a different kind of device that you think I should copy that kind of rip off Minecraft, then leave them down below in the comment section, okay? I, I You guys seem to enjoy the series and it's really fun how many apps do copy Minecraft. They don't have to be like really bad apps. We've checked out some pretty good apps before. So the apps I have today are Block Earth 3, Discovery Light, Create Sandbox, Exploration, and Multicraft. They're the apps of choices. Now, Discovery Light, I might have played this before or something very similar on Android, so I apologize with that one. But going into Block Earth 3, let's see what this is about. Now, we've got New World. Can I just start off by saying that the font that they've used in this game, absolutely awful. It looks like something cheap that you've made in paint. It looks awful. Now I'm going to click this button at the top. Ah, okay, so that wants me to purchase it. It wants me to buy a, a version, which is called the premium version. It says here, premium plus all, get everything for a great price. Premium version, super jetpack, three extra world types, and more materials. No, I'm not going to be doing that. So we're going to stick to default. We're going to go to new world here. We've got flatland, and we've got, like, not flatland. Is there anything else? Ah, okay, so you have alien, and you have doodle. <laughs> What a weird name, Doodle. It kind of, if it's called Doodle, I'm guessing it's kind of like creative, because in creative you kind of do Doodle. Do Doodle? That makes no sense. Doodle. It's kind of a weird word. And we've also got Retro as well, which is kind of like a, an old style. We'll stick with this one for today. I'm hoping it's going to be interesting. I'm hoping it's going to be a fun game. All right then. Um. Ah, okay. So we've started on the top. Oh, we have a jetpack. Okay. We've got Minecraft with a jetpack. All right, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, having a jetpack in Minecraft is pretty fun. Like the nearest thing that we have to a jetpack in Minecraft is the Elytra. Um, what is this by the way? Like, ah, okay. So to me, this seems like a creative style. Ah, okay. So a lot of these games that copy Minecraft are always like creative styled. Like they, they don't really have a survival aspect. And look, there's the adverts popped up already. Ah, come on. I don't. There, oh, I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of it unless I buy the premium version. Well, that's kind of annoying because I really, really like the start of this game. What can, can we do? Ah, okay, so that just gets rid of things. What else can we open it? Oh, the game's crashed. What? Okay, let's try this again. You don't get many apps that crash on an iOS device because like I've explained to you before, they're normally stable compared to the Android store. I see a bird. I don't think I can do anything with it. I think it's just there for lux. Uh, but I, don't, I like to look at the sky, right? What does this do? Ah, okay, so this gives me more blocks. I'm curious if any of these... Can we select a couple of these? Oh, we can actually select a couple of them. All right, then. Normally, games like this, they ask you to... What's that? It looks like concrete. They ask you to start paying for the materials. Um, how do I continue? Start. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's check out a couple of these blocks. Let's go to kind of like a, a flattish area. We'll go over here. I can't, I can't fly up that much more. All right, we're going to go over here. I just want to place down a couple of these blocks and see. What does this do, by the way? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You got like an ex... Oh. That is so loud. <laughs> that is so, so loud. Right, could be... It's kind of like an explosion. What if you put this here? All right, this is so awesome. What this lava, right? Kind of like a lava block. We've got fire here. Okay, well, what's the next one? Hand? Um. I don't know what that does. Uh. Oh, okay, that changes the block. That's kind of like painting. That It's actually not a bad game. It's an interesting game, to say the least. I really love the rocket one, though. 
That is so loud. That is so loud. I can oh wait, there's the birds. I don't even think they're birds. I think they're meant to be dragons. Shall we go over to it and see if we can actually see what it is? Because I've only got a little bit of a. It's a dragon. Uh, can I can I get can I run faster, please? I want I want a dragon. All right, this is like the Game of Thrones of the Minecraft world. I can't get anywhere near it. No. All right. Well, the first game, guys. I'm impressed with it. Uh, let's just close these ones. Block F3. Give it a try. It's got a premium version as well. So the next one is Discovery Light. Like I explained, possibly you have played this before. Uh, Discovery Light needs to be updated. This app will not work with iOS 11. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, well, I guess that wasn't linked to me. So this app's not going to work with iOS 11. And yes, I have played something very similar to this. Let's go New World. Let's just leave everything exactly the same. Let's load this up and explore it. Now, oh, okay, so we can fly. Again, this is like another creative style game. It's always like creative styled. They never really give many survival aspects. Now, Minecraft Pocket Edition a long time ago was really just a creative game. It wasn't built for like adventuring. Can we set these on fire, by the way? <gasps> oh, we did it. Oh, okay, it works. Yeah. I mean, isn't it weird the way every time you find some form of TNT, you have to explode it? Can we get more blocks? Since this is only the... Ah, okay, see. I knew it. This is a prime example of what I was explaining to you in the last uh, game. That a lot of these apps make you purchase some of the things. I mean, at least it gives you access to TNT to start off with. Because not having access to TNT would be really annoying. <laughs> yeah, it would become really annoying. I like the graphics of the game, though. The graphics is quite impressive. Kind of curious if any of you guys have purchased the, the premium version. And if it's any good. So we literally come with a, a handful of basic blocks. There, there's, there really isn't any any survival aspect. We're just going to place all these down. And you know what I'm going to do, don't you guys? I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to place down a bunch of these. Place down a couple. You know what, actually? Let's place down. Let's place down a bunch of TNT real quick. Because, I, I mean, you know what? We're going to test games like this. I wonder if we can crash the game. Like, we always try and crash Minecraft. So can we crash this game? Here we go. I, oh, wait, I played... Okay, that's not going to be enough TNT to break this game. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll do a couple of lines of these. So we will one. We'll place a couple of these. Okay. I want to see how big of the explosion can be. If I had more time, I would definitely spend like a, a good 10, 15 minutes just placing these blocks down to blow to blow it all up. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. If we can light them all up at the similar time, we might be okay. They look like Doritos when they blow up. All right, that's not too bad. I like that game. Uh, two, two games haven't been too bad. The next one, Create Sandbox. Never seen this game in my life. For some reason, it's Captain America with a grass block. And there's our first advert of the day. All right then, a very old styled interface. I'm guessing this is the block of choice that we have selected. You know what, it's, it's a double slab. Oh, okay, this is a horrible styled game. You wanna know why, guys? Because you can't use the touch screen to move. You have to use the right buttons. So the buttons on the right hand side that you can see. Very similar to the ones on the left. So the ones on the left are to move. These on the right are to move your, your angle. That is absolutely terrible. <laughs> that is so patronizing and frustrating to do for a modern day game with like touch. Maybe this game was built for not touch. We can fly here apparently. Can we go up? How do we fly? How do I? How do I? How do I fly up? How do I fly up? Oh, I'm doing a flip. Can I look down real quick? This is a horrible, horrible interface to use. I've I've seen things like this before, right? And they are really difficult. I mean, it'd probably take me a little while to get... Actually, it's... It, I mean, it is difficult to use, but it's not something I would like to play with. Like, for flying, it's pretty easy. But it's just... The, the terrain is exactly the same everywhere. Oh, we found a tree. Why is the tree made out of Christmas pudding? That's a really weird looking tree. Okay, well blocks that we've got in here is, we've got ourselves a Christmas tree. Block. Why was our tree made out of, why was our tree made out of grass with snow on it? Not a clue. We're very limited on blocks. What's this meant to be? Is this meant to be a crafting table or is it meant to be like a piston? Because it does look very similar to a piston. I don't even know what that's meant to be. Like, they don't even have names of the blocks. It doesn't tell me what it is. Wait, is this glowstone? Wait a second. I think it's cap. 
I don't know, what does this do? What is this? That's really strange. You can actually see your world. So I've pressed that button on the top right and it actually changes like your perspective and you can see the world. I do like that actually. It, it kind of reminds me of the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition being the beta where you have the um, structure blocks and you can kind of show people your builds. It's kind of interesting. This game though is covered in adverts. It's called Create Sandbox. Number three has to be the worst out of all the ones we've checked out, but I mean, we still got two more apps to go. So what was this one called again? This one is called Exploration. And I, the reason why I downloaded this one is because when I was reading the reviews, they literally were all negative and I'm pretty confident, let's close this and open it again. Pretty confident that this game is using all the Minecraft textures. Now it has a multiplayer and we can actually play the multiplayer. Okay, so games that have multiplayer are always worth exploring because nine times out of 10, people who own these worlds use them for just placing TNT and trapping people at spawn. Oh wait, I made it in. I made it in. I had to accept a couple of rules, but I made it in. And what is, um, what do I have to do? Please, something, uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. It's obviously not in English. Oh, oh, okay. We made it out. We made it out. Protect the doggy. Okay, it's got stained glass as well. Oh, wow, actually, people are actually building. Wait, can we, can we go over there and help them build a little bit? What does this do? Oh, okay, I'm guessing he's griefing someone's house. <laughs> Oops, I kind of helped him. I didn't mean it, by the way. I thought that was kind of this guy's house. Can we hit him? Can we, can we, can we beat people up in this? Hold on a second. I just want to check. It's really hard to control. Oh, P PvP is disabled. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody would be killing people. Right, well, let's go find a guy who's not in a PvP zone. Let's try this dude. Is PvP enabled on this? Our PvP is disabled. Hey, <laughs> hey there. <laughs> well, I can place down. A okay, right. I don't. I, I. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing right now. What are these two doing? They're being attacked. Wait, is it, who's being attacked? Oh wait, what was that? It was a dirt monster. Do you guys? That was really weird. Right. Well, this is really confusing. Oh, and you can actually change your perspective. You see how easy these games can change perspective, but Minecraft can't? It really bothers me that that's a thing. Well, we're gonna quit. All right, I wanna go to survival game. Let's see what that's like. So there's a couple of weird things here. It says like, I'm not VIP, and this one's got like Minecraft layouts. I, I don't understand this, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna click, I'm gonna click the top one, because it did have like the, let's just see what this does. So this one does have a survival aspect. Now with this one, it's nighttime. Wait, is that, that just spawned right in front of me? Did I kill it? Oh, I did kill it. I killed something. All right, well, this is really scary because it's dark. Can we play? Oh, okay, all right then. So I'm guessing I've kind of created some survival world. I don't know, I think I've joined this. What does this do? Ah, okay, so you have to become a VIP member to fly. We've got a couple of things that we can create in here. Can we craft a bed? Oh, we gave ourselves a bed. All right then. Can we sleep at all? Cause it's nighttime. Good night. You can only sleep at nighttime. All right, well I've already slept. Okay. There's a spider, let's go and kill the spider. <laughs> this game is weird. It's interesting to say the least. What is that? That's a weird, it's like a Minecraft spider in a way. Come on. Ooh, I was taking a little bit of damage then. All right, so with this game, you do need this, this survival aspect. You do need some form of food. It's really, really hard to control. Not as hard as the last game, but it's a little bit, I don't know. It's a little bit sensitive. Very, very sensitive. I love this though. Oh, I've changed character. Who am I this time? Oh, okay. I'm no longer the, oh, a sheep. Let's go get him and a spider as well. Now like Minecraft, I've noticed because it's daytime, we're not being attacked by mobs. What about you though? Like, I'm, I'm standing on, oh, we killed it. Oh. I think it was gonna be that easy, but I kind of killed it. So it tells you your things that you've done on the left, which I kind of do like about that. What happens if we knock down a tree? Can we knock down a tree? 
Can we do this? Oh, so it's, it is kind of like creative as well. I don't know, it's a bit of a weird one and I can talk as well. Uh, okay, well it's not too bad. I've definitely seen worse games than that. Exploration, interesting. Has a multiplayer, has survival. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. The last one we have here is Multicraft. Now, some of you guys might, be, might not be able to see it because it's behind me. But this one, again, was left in the comment section. Um, single player demo. Demo. It's a demo. Okay, well, I guess we have to play a demo. We've got creative mode as well. Can we enable? Oh, enable damage. You know what? I'll stick to the... I'll stick to, like, the survival single player. But it's loading up very similar to the last game that we just played. It is the last game that we just played. However, it's got something really weird and in, in, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a monster. Okay. So I've somehow loaded up a, a very, very flat world. Somebody joined my game. Someone joined my game. So you can actually play with random people. They're just generally going to join your game. And there's zombies everywhere. All right, well, I don't, I don't get the whole concept of this. What's this? Is that a torch? What is that? Can you please leave me alone? This is really creepy. It's the same game, but it's it just seems a little bit different. It's got rotten flesh as well. Ah, it has copied the Minecraft texture. So you start off with a, a certain amount of blocks and you have to build yourself. Well, exactly like the last game, guys. It's just, it's exactly the same as the last game. It is. It's generally exactly the same as the last game. What's this one? Is that a diamond sword? Can we pick it out? Can we take it? Oh, okay. So I need the items for that. Well, two very interesting games. That's all I'm going to say. What is this? It looked like an egg. What was that? Is it an egg? It just fell through the floor. It's it's like a weird egg. Right. Well, I think on that, go, that note, guys, we're going to call it a day. <laughs> um... We start off really well. The first two games weren't too bad. Create sandbox, the, the the touches and the controls and that were absolutely dreadful. Exploration, not too bad. It had a multiplayer aspect. I guess people enjoy multiplayer. And then Multicraft, exactly the same as Exploration, just a different name. And that is what a lot of these apps do. Same game, different app, different name. So you download it, spams with ads. I didn't notice any pop-up ads then, so we kind of got lucky. If you guys have ever played any of these games, Leave a comment down below. Any more app ideas, leave them down below. And of course, I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.